warm greetings to all of you in this online maths lesson for second class today we are going to do some learning outcome based exercises from the unit measurement of your textbook today's first question is dash is not a non standard unit of length here we have four options to this question option a is hand span option b is footsteps option c is fingers and option d is inches let's understand the difference between the standard and non standard units of measurement standard units are those that don't change with time place or person and the non standard units are those that change with time place or person now let's move to the options and check all these options option a is a hand span here we have an example of a hand span we know that we can't correctly measure length with hand span everyone has a different length of his hands so the hand span changes from person to person measurement is not same with different hands so it is a non standard unit next one is footsteps footsteps are also not same as others footsteps so it is also a non standard unit third is fingers our fingers are not always equal to length of others so it is also a non standard unit of length option c is inches you can see we can correctly measure length with inches inch doesn't change from person to person so it is a standard unit and it is not a non standard unit of measurement so option d inch is the correct option and we put a tick mark here Our second question is which of these can measure the weight of a watermelon here we have four option option a is a liter or a can option b is a scale or a ruler option c is a weighing balance and option d is a hand span or a hand's length let's find out which of these is used to measure the weight of a watermelon here we have a picture of a watermelon You know when you go to buy vegetables and fruits you have seen there a balance pan or a weighing balance is used to measure these things so watermelon is also weighed in a weighing balance option c weighing balance is the correct option here and we put a tick mark at option c question number 3 is you have a 6 cm long stick it breaks at 2 cm is its length increased or decreased now Yes here we have four options option A is increased option B is decreased option C is remain same and option D is none of these now let's check the situation here we have a 6 cm long stick now it gets broken at a distance of 2 cm the length of the stick is now 4 cm you can see on the scale the length is now 4 cm so the length is decreased option b decreases is the right option here and we will put a tick mark at option b fourth question for today's lesson is which one is the lightest here we have four options option a is a ball option b is a brick option c is a cricket bat and option d is a feather you know kids the feather is the lightest thing it has very less weight so option d feather is the right option and we put a tick mark there now it's homework time kids you have to revise all these mcqs at your home we have one more mcq as your homework and the question is which utensil can hold maximum water the four options are option a is a cup option b is a glass option c is a spoon and option d is a bucket you have to think and tick mark the right option stay tuned to your online studies take care of your health goodbye thanks